Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is what gets you out of a reading slump? Well, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I read well over a hundred, potentially over 200 books a year. So I don't think I really get a reading slump per se. However, there are sometimes books that I slow down on. Books where I don't want to give it up and move on to something else, but I'm not quite engaging with it. So for those, I tend to slip in little moments of reading it. I will read during a commercial break, so I'll open the book as soon as it goes to credits, read for a couple of minutes, and then put it down again. And going into the book for a couple of minutes while I'm not doing anything else, because the book isn't fully engaging me anyway, I'm not losing anything by being slightly distracted, keeping an eye out for when the commercial break ends. And I'm not losing anything by it only being a tiny little moment of reading. And because my memory's good enough to hold it, I don't have to go back and try and remember where I was 20 minutes ago when I last read a snippet. And so, I can ease my way in little iterations through the bit of the book that isn't holding me while I'm watching television. So I don't have an entire evening where there's something I want on television. So I watch that and I don't read the book. Once I've got through a couple of iterations, I usually find that I've moved past what it is that's holding me up. Because in my experience, books don't tend to be uniformly uninteresting. If I've got enough of the way into a book without deciding, well, I'm definitely not going to enjoy this at all. There's, it's just going to be a chore. There's nothing of value in it. Usually the reason I'm having a slump on that book is because where I happen to be at that point isn't interesting. So by moving on a little bit, by keeping focused on it, I can get past that section. And I think the, uh, the clearest example of that is Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment, which, like many Russian novels, of the period has more than just the main arc and a few subsidiary arcs about major characters. It has discursus on various things. And one of the things that really slowed them down is something I remember as being rather a long segment about rural postal services. And I was reading the book because it's about a character who commits a crime and isn't immediately caught. And so deals with his feelings, knowing he's done something wrong, deciding, well, is it wrong because society says it's wrong? Is it wrong in and of itself? If you don't get caught... Do you have any duty to confess? And if you're not going to confess, how do you deal with the knowledge that you've committed the crime? <clears throat> and obviously there are subplots to it, but really I was reading it mostly for the character, the dealing with that issue. And so this discursus into Rural Post was too far from the book I was expecting the book 
that had hooked my attention enough that I'd read most of the way through it. So that was a slog. So I got through it in little pieces, knowing that, well, it's going to change again. It's going to come back to the main plot. So I just have to get past this bit that isn't holding me. The same approach extent applies to non-fiction, which generally is more informative and less enthralling. Learning can be fun, but I don't think anyone ever went, ooh, project management, I must, in my own time, read that, stay up late into the night, because you just can't stop learning about the Prince 2 methodology. So, if I want to learn about something, I might hit a section where something that's necessary for understanding isn't that interesting to read about. So again, small pieces, either in commercial breaks or in between reading chapters of a more interesting book. As for not reading at all for days, it's, I find it very difficult. If I walk past a cereal packet, I'll read the back. So I don't really have any advice for how to deal with not feeling like reading at all, because most of the time my problem is not stopping to read things. Toodaloo!